This here is most likely what your to-do list in Notion looks like. This here is extremely ineffective. So then you might have upgraded to something like this, where you can see your week and you're writing on Wednesday, I'm going to do blah, and then I'm going to do blah, blah. This is still extremely ineffective as it doesn't use databases. So then you might have upgraded to something like this. This here is a Notion database. If you don't know how to do that, you do forward slash data, and here you have all the different types of databases you can use. Now this here is more effective, but you are missing one crucial feature to really get the most out of your Notion to-do list. And that is this here time blocking. This here, as you can see, says unscheduled. And time blocking is broken down into two functionalities. So what I'll do here is scroll up. And as you can see, we have functionality number one, your week view and your month view. So time blocking is basically you knowing the tasks that you're going to do every single day, like we were looking at this before, but actually using databases. So this is functionality one here, a calendar. Functionality two, I'm going to delete this space above, is this here, time blocking your day. This one missing feature here of time blocking and the two functionalities of a calendar and a daily system can change your life. This template is 100% free and there is a link in the description to use it. I'm gonna show you how it works. So here you have the unscheduled tab. So we can do task A, task B, and task C. What you're going to be doing is adding all of your different tasks into your task list, like you're doing down here. It's the same kind of idea, you just want to have a list of all the tasks that you need to do. Now that you have your list, instead of just doing these randomly, what we'll do is plan out our week. So what I'll do here is plan out Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And what we're going to do is simply drag these like this. And as you can see, they get moved from here. Now don't worry, they're not actually being moved from here. This database, this database, and this database is the same database. We're just using different filters. So this filter here under unscheduled is saying, show me tasks that are unchecked and where the date is empty, AKA it hasn't been scheduled. And then I'll move task B here and I'll move task C here. Now that I've time blocked my week, I just added some random stuff. We started by adding all the tasks. Then we planned out our week, and now let's say it's Thursday morning, because it is, what I'll do is scroll up here and use the time blocking daily feature. So here I can simply write out the time that I'm going to do everything. So task C, let's say I don't wanna do that first, I wanna do task B first. What I'll simply do is drag this above task B, and I'll say, let's do this at 9 a.m. Task C, actually, you know what, let's drag this down. And I say, I'll do this at 10 a.m. And now when I've completed a task, I can simply check it in here. And as you can see, it gets checked in here. And if I scroll down and open up all tasks, you can see that it's checked in here. All of these are connected, it's all the same database. Once again, this is free, linked in the description. Time blocking is part of having a strategy, which is crucial. Click on this video here if you wanna check out my course, all about how you can develop a strategy and implement that into Notion. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in this video.